I've been a fan of Stirling engines for a very long time. They've just intrigued me how they work and how they operate. If you're not familiar with what a Stirling engine is, I encourage you to hang in there and watch this video. We're going to show you how it works and what one is. Stirling Kit reached out to me and they asked if I wanted any of their models and I told them, sure, send me a Stirling engine and we'll take a look at it. I personally had never heard of Stirling Kit before. I went to their website and I'm amazed at all the models and engines that they sell. The kit they sent me is really cool because it is a full functioning Stirling engine and it does generate a little bit of electricity. So I thought it might be fun to open up this box and show you what the contents are and assemble the Stirling engine and make it go. Now one thing that I like to do when I'm putting together a model is I like to open up all the little baggies and all the little parts and pieces and lay them out on my workbench so I can get to them relatively quickly. I also try to organize them a little bit so it makes sense to me so that when I'm assembling it I kind of know where to grab the pieces or where those pieces might be. Obviously this is a model or a kit that you have to assemble yourself which is what makes this fun but it does come with instructions and they're really nice they're easy to see even for old eyes like mine Now I have to admit I really enjoyed assembling this and that is because assembling models and kits like this is kind of like a puzzle. I personally really enjoy a hands-on activity like this. Everything's just kind of pre-made and you get to figure out how it operates and how to put it together. It took me maybe a little bit over an hour to actually assemble the model itself and then I spent maybe another 15 minutes kind of tinkering with it getting things adjusted just right so it would start. So let's go ahead and start it and show you how it operates. We basically wait just a few minutes and then we will kind of kickstart it and it'll start right up. So once the flame's been on this chamber long enough, it'll get hot enough that you can start it by hand and it should continue to run on its own. Just like that. It'll pick up quite a few RPMs and the little LED light that's on the back side of this little generator is changing colors, which is exactly what it is supposed to do. The hotter you can heat the cylinder down here, the faster it will run. And I'm just using a lamp oil. It's not really hot enough to run this engine, but as you can see, it's doing just fine. 
It does come with a little kind of fun external light and it is lighting up. It's hard to see on the camera. It does have a little bit of a flicker, but that's because we're not running this at a high enough RPM. Now I've blown out the flame and as you can see, as it cools down, it'll slow down and eventually stop. So what I want you guys to do is comment down below and tell us how you think this thing is operating. What is going on that is making this function like a little motor whenever this particular chamber is heated up? So I have to admit, the Sterling engine itself looks beautiful on just about anybody's tabletop or a desktop. It's a great conversation starter and it is very well made and it's very good to look at. I will say that assembling it did run me into a few issues and I'm gonna point those out and hopefully this helps you a little bit. The instructions that came with this particular particular kit, well, they're done fairly well, kinda, but they're not exactly complete. There is enough information in the manual to help you assemble and get this little Sterling engine running. However, I think the company could have done a little better job with the manual. I did reach out to them and I talked to them and they are updating this manual. They're actively working on a better manual so they can put it into this kit. All of that being said, I really kind of enjoyed the puzzle of assembling the engine itself, even though the manual was not complete. The heart of how this operates is with these glass pieces. And as you can see, I did break one. You do need to handle the glass components with caution. So A, you don't cut yourself, but more specifically, so you don't break them and run out of parts. They do give you a couple of extra o-rings as well and that's because well those also can tear as you're putting them on they also give you some extra glass tubes because again they're easy to break so the company has given you some spare parts to hopefully get you through this process of getting this little engine running i really enjoyed assembling this little engine and making it operate and sharing it with you guys i do highly suggest that you at least go out and take a look at the sterling kit website and take a look at what they have to offer they have some really cool models that really just make your imagination go wild i will put a link down below like and subscribe take a look at some of my other videos and at the very least you might be entertained